This is the Elogic Clarity, and it's a monitor that most people have never heard of. And right out the gate, let me tell you, this monitor is incredible. And I think it might be the best alternative to the Apple Studio display. Now, I also tried two other monitors, the Samsung M8 and the Dell UltraSharp. And I put these three side by side, as well as next to my 5K 27-inch iMac to see who could give me the best performance that was closest to Apple performance. Now looking at Samsung, the design is beautiful, but the display, not so much. The 400 nit brightness is great and the colors are well reproduced, but because of that VA panel, viewing angles are terrible and the matte display really washes out your contrast, especially when compared to the Elogic Clarity. Now the Dell is a different story. The monitor uses an IPS panel display that makes viewing angles much better, but contrast and depth is still nerfed by that matte anti-glare everyone seems to use. And there was this weird yellow tint that I could not get rid of no matter what I did. Of course I didn't own a calibration tool, but I would expect better coming from a monitor that claims to be factory calibrated. So now this brings me to the Elogic Clarity. What is this thing and who the heck are these people? Well, Elogic is a Melbourne-based tech company that specializes in consumer and professional IT electronics at a premium design level. And with that focus on premium quality and leading edge experience with peripherals, Elogic made their very own monitor, the Clarity. So let's take a closer look. This is a 27 inch 4K QLED monitor. It's an IPS panel that has a glass face Brightness is the standard, 400 nits, and brightness even looks better because it's coming through the glass, not that anti-glare film. Refresh rate is the standard 60 hertz, which is the same as Apple Studio display. The monitor does support HDR 600 workflow, and color is factory calibrated, and reproduction is excellent. 99% Adobe, 100% sRGB, and 97% DCI. I did do some adjusting on my own to try and match the IMAX display because I noticed some saturations were a tad different, but overall the difference was so close I knew I could trust this monitor to give me the exact same output the iMac was giving me. And in some circumstances, even better performance, especially in brightness uniformity and gamut. So last but not least, let's talk about price. The cheapest monitor of all of these was the Dell. That came in at $499. Next is the Samsung, which came in at $599. And the Elogic Clarity was $799, which I think is a pretty good deal considering the studio display is about $1,600. Given the performance of the Clarity compared to the other monitors and that 5K iMac display, I have total confidence recommending this monitor as a good alternative to the studio display. So I have to add, this was definitely not a sponsored video. We purchased these monitors for comparison for use within our workspace. So now it's your turn. You tell me what you think. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section. And as usual, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.